I wanted to review some frequently asked questions related to the single subject rule here in the state of California. What fundamentally is the purpose of the single subject rule? The general idea is to ensure that legislation or ballot measures are not overly complex or that they may possibly confuse or hide some of their provisions in a multifaceted measure. Some have argued that the single subject rule precludes combining popular and unpopular unrelated provisions in one omnibus measure in, in order to secure requisite number of votes. Does California have a single subject rule? Yes, there's a single subject rule for legislation that's considered by the legislature and that's found in Article 4, which deals with the legislative branch in Section 9 of our state constitution. It provides in part that a statute shall embrace but one subject, which shall be expressed in its title. If a statute embraces a subject not expressed in its title, only the part not expressed is void. When did California law reflect the single subject rule? It was in 1948 that the California Constitution was amended to add the single subject rule for ballot measures for initiatives. The following year, the California Supreme Court ruled that the single subject rule applicable to initiatives was to be construed in the same manner as it's contained in Article 4, Section 9. And they noted that the provision applicable to legislation had been in effect for a very long time. What did the California Supreme Court say about the single subject rule? It's expressed its opinion in a, a, a number of times. But it said, for example, that the single subject rule is generally to be construed liberally to uphold proper legislation, all parts of which are to be reasonably germane. The main case is Harbor versus Duke Magian in 1987. It was a California Supreme Court decision where they explained that the single subject clause has as its primary and universally recognized purpose as the prevention of log rolling by the legislature which they explained as combining several proposals in a single bill so that legislators, by combining their votes, obtain a majority for a measure which would not have been approved if divided into separate bills. Do other states have a single subject rule? Yes, almost every state constitution actually includes a single subject requirement. The California Supreme Court has also said that the purpose of the requirement that the single subject of a bill shall be expressed in its title is to prevent misleading or inaccurate titles so that legislators and the public are afforded reasonable notice of the contents of a statute. Now there's also a second single subject rule and that's for ballot measures. What does it say? The California Constitution in Article 2, Section 8D specifies that an initiative measure embracing more than one subject may not be submitted to the electors or have any effect. Is there more than one challenge to an initiative based upon the single subject limitation? Yes. The language contained in Section 8D says that if an initiative embraces more than one subject, it can neither be submitted to the voters nor be enacted by the voters. So this means that there are two opportunities to challenge an initiative measure based upon the single subject rule, a pre-election challenge or a post-election challenge. And finally, how do the courts view challenges to initiatives? An initiative measure does not violate the single subject requirement if Despite its varied collateral effects, all of its parts are reasonably germane to each other and to the general purpose or object of the initiative. The single subject rule does not require functional interrelationship or interdependence of provisions or showing that each one of the measures, several provisions was capable of getting voter approval independently of other provisions. And this was uh, stated by the California Supreme Court in the 1990 decision Raven versus Duke Magian.